Mr. Paul, thank you for talking to Commercial Motor. No problem at um, all. Now, not only have you just taken delivery of the UK's first electric tipper, but you've taken two of them. First, first two in the UK, second in Europe. So, there's an obvious question. Why? Our industry is looked at as a, as a dirty industry, you know, it's not. The technology that is out there is, is fantastic. Um, electric vehicles are coming everywhere you look. There's advertising, advertising, people are talking about carbon net zero. This is a first step towards it for us as a business. You know, the, the days of the dirty muck shifter and, you know, fossil fuels getting burnt, they're on the way out. We have a fleet of electric plant, dumpers, excavators and a loading shovel. This was a natural progression for us to, to go forward with it. I see. Now, obviously, they're not cheap. They're roughly three times the price of a, of a diesel um, just tipper. Under, just under three times. So does that mean you're going to be charging your customers three times the, uh, the price to move there? No, we won't charge the customers that. We'll try and get a premium if we can. Unlikely that will happen, and we, we won't push that as a business either, because for me, this isn't a, a money-earning exercise. This is us actually just trying to keep up with technology and I think where, where you know, the country's going. Yeah. Uh, what do your customers think of it? Uh, they love it so far. Um, we've sent flyers out, we've done a lot on social media, as you guys have probably seen. Yep. Um, we're having an open day in August, uh, a local venue, uh, where we're going to invite all the customers to who've shown interest, and it'll be open book for anyone. So at that, at that function, we're going to have the trucks there, we're going to have some plant there, showing you know, we can do a full electric service. OK. So how long would you keep it on the fleet? Longer than your, your diesel trucks? We try to run wagons on a five-year turnaround. Yep. You know, when you're busy and new trucks come, it's easy not to get rid of the older stuff. Um, so we try and run on a five-year replacement programme. I'd say these will be the same, but we'll have to see how they perform when they get on the road in the next couple of weeks. So what sort of range does it have? We spec with Neil Crook from Thomas Hardy's. They came and said, you know, what, what is your application? What are you going to use these trucks for? So in our minds, we want them delivering recycled 6F2 from our, one of the recycling facilities we have at Leyland out to customers and bringing hardcore back in. So we spec that on the 25 mile radius on seven to eight loads a day. And that's what those batteries are spec for. Oh, I see. OK. Um, as far as the driver's concerned, who is going to be driving these? Well, we've, you know, we've nearly 270 on the road, so we're in excess of 300 wagon drivers, and we must have had 100 guys putting the name forward. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to do a competition, uh, which we're just in the process of working out what, what we have to do to win the competition, uh, and we're going to select three guys for it. We only have two at the moment. There's more trucks coming through next year which are electric, and we obviously want to have a spare driver, because what we won't do is put lads on who aren't trained on them. See. Now, I know next year Volvo are going to be launching their FMX eight wheeler, a, a yep. Tridem electric, of course. Yep. Um, will that be something you'd be considering as well? We've already committed to a number of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, really? We're also looking at uh, tractor unit application, what we can use them for. That's a little bit harder for us because, you know, one day our units can be under a low load and the next day possibly under a walking floor or a tipping trailer, and they can be up and down the country you know, all over the place where these vehicles aren't as much. So we're exploring with Volvo now for FMX eight-wheelers. We've already committed to a number of them. And then we're looking at uh, grabs, hooks and sweepers, but that's down to the, the Thompson guys and, and the Johnson sweeper guys to see if they can make it work. Yeah, finally. And, and finally, uh, the body, that, that's a Thompson's. That's a Thompson um, body, yeah. Have you had a long relationship with Thompson's? We've had a long-standing relationship with Thompson's, you know, probably back to 2007 and other businesses we've acquired uh, in the recent years, you know, previous to that. Um, there's two or three bodybuilders around us. Thompson's are on the doorstep. Our uh, workshop and engineering manager at Leyland, who he, buy, he does all the buying and selling of the trucks for us, he has that relationship there and it's down to him to decide. Paul, cool. thank you very much. Appreciate no that. Though.